Hello dear friends, thank you for joining us. Today we will be discussing heart conditions, our solutions and how the Fucus Biogelic can help. Heart disease is the leading cause of death for both men and women alike. One person dies every 36 seconds in the United States from cardiovascular disease. So a very important topic. Um, so let's start with um, discussing what the most common uh, cardiovascular diseases are. Yes, of course. And the most common cardiovascular diseases nowadays are the coronary artery disease, uh, ischemia, hypertension, of course, and uh, heart attacks. Heart attacks as a culmination of many other cardiac conditions. Uh, and it is like the extreme episode when a person experiences like the worst pain uh, possible, uh, as it is rated the worst pain possible in the heart. Um, and with the consequence of uh, part, part of the heart muscle just not being provided with enough of uh, nourishment and uh, oxygenation, uh, that part of the cardiac muscle basically just dies out. That's when the person is experiences the worst pain ever. Uh, with the under this condition, the heart, of course, is at risk of just like uh, for total arrest and uh, total failure. Uh, and this is what um, brings uh, these statistics about. Mm -hmm. This is the leading cause of death. Mm -hmm. As mm -hmm. most of us know, uh, heart disease is preventable and in many cases reversible. So, but let's first discuss what uh, brings the heart conditions about. How do they appear? Right. And right. why are they so rampant nowadays? It has to be connected to the way we eat, to our lifestyle. And of course, the heart disease is preventable because the precursors are being accumulating for a period of time, for a long uh, term accumulation of uh, specific uh, type of uh, toxins, would say, or sludge, which is the uh, calcification which is the inorganic form of calcium uh, very common also the mucus which is circulating within the uh, within the uh, blood and then of course the cholesterol cholesterol is being produced now in order to provide a good protection by our body which we uh, very and in the you know, modern day uh, people just misunderstand the function of cholesterol and they think this is the uh, main threat but uh, on the contrary cholesterol is something that the body is trying to produce in order to prevent um, these um, sudden ruptures of the current uh, or the uh, vessels that inorganic calcium that circulates within the bloodstream gets uh, mixed with the mucus which is also circulating within the bloodstream that actually gets into the bloodstream from the digestive tract which is most likely stagnated at that point and then on uh, once these two substances meet they create this uh, one substance which is now a very dangerous because uh, if it sticks to the wall and it's uh, get caught on the micro uh, micro crack within the blood vessel this is where the calcification begins now uh, due to that body begins to produce the cholesterol uh, to patch those cracks up. Uh, however, the calcification and the mucus and the calcium get caught within these cracks and they mix with the cholesterol and they begin forming the calcification plaque. Mm -hmm. okay? So here's the connection, folks, between the cardiovascular system and the GI tract. Very important to keep the GI tract as clean as possible so all the mucus um, can uh, actually timely and promptly exit the body without uh, contributing to the calcification and the plaque problems. Right, without being uh, delayed in elimination and thus penetrating into the bloodstream. Well, what do you have to say about animal products? Uh, well, animal products, they also, uh, since they're causing high uh, acidity within the body, that means they they're creating a uh, favorable environment for and uh, for free radicals to circulate uh, within the bloodstream, and these free radicals basically are the ones that 
um, uh, cause this cracking within the blood vessels in the inner lining. So how they do it, they rip off the ions of the internal lining of the blood vessel and uh, the longer they do that, the, uh, the more significant the damage of the lining happens within the uh, vessel and uh, the body is trying to now compensate for that and start packing it with cholesterol. And calcification with mucus mixture uh, gets caught on these micro cracks and begins building up a plaque. So this is the process of formation of a plaque within the bloodstream, within the uh, blood vessel. Mm -hmm. So these are the factors that uh, influence this process, that actually create this process. Okay, so let's um, again identify the main major risk factors of heart disease for our listeners. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, um, the factors are very common. It is inappropriate uh, nutrition, very high stress level, uh, and uh, of course, it is lack of physical movement. Yes, and lack lack of dynamics. Yeah, there are always three uh, common um, factors for a lot of diseases. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, and it's it's the same uh, risk factors basically. The same risk factors, except for then when we need to refine and understand how risk factors uh, influence uh, the formation and development of a specific condition. Then, of course, you know it, we need to consider uh, the individual uh, the individual um, particularities of that mm -hmm. person. Uh, how this you know process develops further mm -hmm. so once the plaque is uh, formed within the blood vessel then it continues to grow as it continues to grow the uh, inflammation of the uh, blood vessels increases uh, of course, naturally. yes right mm -hmm. then what happens is um, the uh, the uh, lumen of the blood vessel uh, of course gets plugged and uh, the blood uh, flow is blocked greatly and uh, body starts regulating it by increasing the blood pressure of course because it cannot um, go without um, pro providing the uh, required oxygen uh, oxygenation to the tissues because if the plug is formed in one of the central arteries and the body does not respond to it anyhow then we're talking about the compromised uh, oxidation for the tissue in that area and to compensate for that the body starts to bring the blood pressure up in order to mm -hmm. still keep this uh, ratio of oxidation uh, of tissues appropriate and mm -hmm. uh, putting the blood vessels it even at a higher risk and uh, uh, and not just blood vessels but the heart itself mm -hmm. at a high risk for the mm -hmm. for, for the for the attack mm -hmm. yes yeah, so uh, we have a question here what does calcification inside the blood blood vessels look like what is it? Yes, well, calcification, uh, calcium, which is now mixed with the mucus and the cholesterol, uh, gets hardened once it attaches to the wall of the blood vessel and becomes uh, like this uh, rock like looking. It's basically like a stone. Mm -hmm. uh, which, or cement. Or cement, yes, mm -hmm. that uh, like concrete mm -hmm. that is. Uh, it's actually that hard, folks. Yes, which which attaches to which attaches mm -hmm. to the blood vessel very tightly and does mm -hmm. not let go. So it's basically um, uh, it's like a plastered mm -hmm. plastered uh, blood mm -hmm. blood vessel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have some clients that um, whose uh, arteries are seventy five percent blocked, right, with with that cement. Yes, uh, almost cemented close together, leaving mm -hmm. very very little. Uh, space for uh, for bloodstream. When uh, the individual is consuming, you know, the cooked food, which is uh, basically enzyme deprived, uh, vitamin E, vitamin C that are important to the uh, to the heart are basically diminished. And uh, vitamin E is a very important uh, vitamin for the heart muscle, uh, but within uh, while cooking, it is destroyed almost completely and the individual who is uh, not really having uh, any of the stable vitamin E and other good uh, quality, uh, right quality nutrients 
uh, is at a very high risk of developing the inflammation within the blood uh, vessels uh, and uh, arrhythmias and uh, tightness in the chest, so to say spastic heart uh, and uh, different types of arrhythmias, like I said, mm -hmm. and um, basically the formation of calcifications. So this is what happens. So this is mm -hmm. how nutrients are very important mm -hmm. for the heart health too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, so the question is, what are the natural ways of dealing with heart disease, of clearing out the plaque specifically? Right, right. This mm -hmm. is what we're covering right mm -hmm. now. Okay. So um, removing the causative factors, of course, is the most important. And then introducing, and within the causative factors, as we know, the free radicals. The free radicals mm -hmm. come from stress. And why stress is very crucial to the heart and uh, how is it connected? Uh, and we haven't touched upon that yet, but mm -hmm. this is a very interesting point. Uh, this all already goes on to a different level than the body. It goes into the mind. Emotions are stored within the heart. Whenever a person is exp experiencing certain emotion, that comes from the heart. If the person experiences negative emotion, uh, this emotion is the precursor of the free radical formation within the heart. People are all asking, uh, what are the natural, holistic ways of addressing heart disease? If you could please briefly address some of the ways to do it. The most natural way in dealing with the heart conditions would be, uh, like I said, taking care of these three aspects. And one is changing the nutrition, another is managing the stress level, and the third one would be the appropriate uh, amount of uh, physical exercises for that person individually because physical exercises may sometimes especially on a very acute and uh, uh, complex uh, stages of the heart diseases could be also uh, life threatening uh, address the nutrition right nutrition uh, the first thing to do would actually be removing the animal products and by products uh, because uh, because they are causing high acidity, they are very strong precursor for uh, free radical formation, and people who consume animal products are at risk of um, easily developing stress and be vulnerable to uh, negative emotions. Extreme negative extreme emotions. Extreme negative emotions. Just because, because animal they're... products are very extreme in their energetic content, mm -hmm. this is why they cause the extreme emotions too. And the extreme emotions, as we understand, this uh, is a very strong factor in formation of the cardiac diseases. So, uh, removing the animal products. Um, and then, the second one would also be significant, removing the carbohydrates that are like simple sugars, uh, refined flours, refined grains, uh, especially those that contain gluten and lectins. Uh, these carbohydrates mm -hmm. definitely need to go. Uh, and this would be a stage a step number two in nutrition mm -hmm. obviously this is not an overnight process it takes it takes it takes some time. time of course mm -hmm. of course um, step number three in nutrition would be adding some good nutrients and this is what we're going to be talking about right now because we want to introduce this fucus bio jelly mm -hmm. this is the centerpiece in dealing with a heart disease and we'll, we'll tell you why mm -hmm. but adding some nutrients that are very significant and those would be the vitamins, especially vitamin E, vitamin K2, vitamin D, vitamin mm -hmm. C, those mm -hmm. vitamins are very important. Uh, also some other flavonoids and uh, enzymes that come from um, uh, specific berries and fruit from apricot which is part of this fucus mm -hmm. uh, that has like a very strong uh, en okay, enzymes that en antioxidant mm -hmm. uh, you know uh, function that uh, suppress the free radicals. Uh, so those would be the nutrients that we want to introduce in the, our nutrition mm -hmm. in dealing with the heart So diseases. now I would like to talk about um, this functional nutrition, the Fucus Bio Jelly. So it's made from uh, the king of plants, uh, Fucus or Bladderac seaweed that has over 90 different minerals and uh, vitamins and a whole host of bioactive compounds. Yes. So can you please um, expand on this and uh, let our listeners know how uh, this daily nutrition can be helpful of in course. addressing heart disease. Yes, 
let's begin with the uh, minerals. Minerals in the, uh, like you mentioned, in bladderwrack are exceedingly high content. Uh, and they come in organic form, which is the ionic form, which is required by our body. Also, this is a raw product and has a very high bioavailability for the minerals. And uh, what they do, they also suppress the acidic environment and uh, some minerals that are very significant for the heart muscle and for a heart uh, function like magnesium and potassium are in very uh, high quantities in, in this product. Mm -hmm. So Also, this, is, the, this uh, product helps to regulate the digestion, uh, oh. increase the elimination uh, function of the body, thus uh, reducing the impact on the, on the uh, cardiovascular system. Of course, yes, but if we were to talk about the digestive uh, mm -hmm. benefits, that's a separate conversation, of course. Of course, we'll do it, a separate video on that. When, when it, comes in contact, it comes in contact, first with digestive tract. So it does good for digestive tract, but the compounds that uh, get into the bloodstream then start working on the heart too, you know, and this is what we're discussing right mm -hmm. now. So beyond digestive uh, benefits, we're talking about the heart benefits. Mm -hmm. So next uh, compounds uh, that are contained in fucus uh, are flavonoids, polyphenols, and those are very drastic antioxidants. So they reduce the amount of free radicals directly within the heart. Uh, so that's very significant. Another is the um, fucoidins. And fucoidins, they were to, they are very uh, well known for uh, repairing the cell, uh, the cell on a DNA level. So, so it's basically a DNA repair. Uh, also, it has the vitamin E, which is like I mentioned, is very significant for the heart muscle. Uh, it reduces the inflammation within the heart muscle, uh, within the uh, blood vessel. Uh, it reduces the risk of um, uh, arrhythmia risk of uh, heart attack, generally uh, reducing the stress on the heart, uh, the, it re releases the spastic heart, so to say, uh, aids the heart muscle uh, and uh, just, you know, takes just generally takes care of the heart mm -hmm. and the blood mm -hmm. vessels. So at this so, time we mm -hmm. have four different uh, flavors and four different functional purposes of uh, the Fucus Biogelli, but the complex one, um, native complex, this is uh, the most appropriate for uh, addressing, for helping in situations of heart conditions, correct? Correct, correct. yes. So it nourishes the heart muscle, uh, the alginic acids, they reduce the inflammation within the arteries uh, and just generally because it has the um, also the uh, addition of apricot uh, within one of the components is the apricot and apricot has uh, well, is very well known for uh, good antioxidant enzymes like quercetin uh, to deal with the heart, uh, heart conditions. So this is a wonderful centerpiece product for, to deal with the heart issues. And like I said, some other ones, and it's not only important what nutrients you add to your nutrition, but the routines that you really need to carry out for uh, some time in order to reduce the uh, the plug, arterial plug, uh, decalcify your arteries, and mm -hmm. just generally see the result. Mm -hmm. so, yes, it's, mm -hmm. it's a long process. It Imagine long process. that there is a thick layer of cement inside the blood vessels, and that takes time to uh, to basically get through to, to, <laughs> to, to break down to, to break, to it break down. down to mm -hmm. assimilate that to eliminate it and so on because uh, mm -hmm. this is uh, you know that uh, substance is very hard is very difficult to deal with it it's one of the most challenging conditions in natural mm -hmm. medicine to deal with really uh, and it depends not only on professionalism of the um, uh, person working with that individual mm -hmm. but uh, mainly what it depends on is the that individual the, uh, the, uh, who has this uh, condition to be able to carry out the schedule naturally mm -hmm. and and uh, not because having the patience and having dedication the patience and, and going through this because what mm -hmm. happens is that uh, the lifestyle uh, that that person is used to is the type of lifestyle that brought about this condition that means that to reverse this condition, we're talking about naturally reverse this condition, means to go in a different direction with the lifestyle. Basically the opposite, well, 
not extremely opposite, but but very different. So uh, it's like almost a 180 degree turn needs to be considered, uh, you know, gradually, of course, but this is a very tough part of the whole uh, schedule to, mm -hmm. for, for that individual to be able to uh, fulfill it, to carry it out. Mm -hmm. So Okay, mm -hmm. so today we discussed um, heart conditions, um, uh, heart disease being the leading cause of death for men and women alike and um, some of the natural ways of addressing heart disease and uh, how the Fucus Biogel can help. So if you have any questions, please write to us, info at purplesprout.com. You can um, find more information on our website, purplesprout.com. And uh, in the comments down below, please drop uh, what other topics you would like us to discuss next. Uh -huh.